back to square off and my interview with Dr. Peter Hotez. His new book is The Deadly Rise of Anti-Science, an, A Scientist's Warning. Hotez wrote that he would never forget 2021. He was angry and in anguish over the hundreds of thousands of needless deaths after a COVID-19 vaccine became available. Here's the rest of our conversation. Things got so sad when you were seeing so many people on their deathbeds in, in intensive care units uh, because they refused a COVID vaccine. And, and they ranged from remorse, oh my God, I should have gotten vaccinated, or for the saddest all of all is, okay, now I'll get vaccinated. That's not how vaccines work. You need time to induce an immune response to prevent you from getting it. They're not therapeutic. Um, all the way to people and not even being able to die with dignity. Their last dying breath was saying this whole thing is a hoax. And that was devastating. And yeah, I did tear up a few times talking on TV. And first I thought, oh my God, there goes the end of my my brief TV career. And it turned out people appreciated the authenticity. Yeah. They wanted to see physicians, scientists who actually cared about what they were saying. And where are you now? As you look, look ahead, there's going to be another pandemic. Yeah, I, you know, I, this is unfortunately only the beginning. Remember, we've had three major coronavirus epidemics, pandemics in the 21st century. We had the original uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, in 2002 that also came out of China, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome in 2012, out of the Arabian Peninsula, COVID-19. We know what's next. We're gonna have another major coronavirus pandemic before the end of this decade, before 2030. We're going to have zoonotic influenza um, uh, illness. We're going to have uh, arboviruses, mosquito-transmitted viruses, because of that combination of climate change. We're seeing that now on, on the Gulf Coast. Mm -hmm. So, you know, put your tray tables in the upright position and your, and your seats forward and your seatbelts on because this is unfortunately a new wave of pandemics is going to be upon us because of that combination of 21st century forces of climate change and urbanization and human migrations. And you say that basically it's up to scientists to take on this fight because nobody's coming to our rescue. Who should be coming to the rescue? Well, he here's what we need. We need to have that recognition that COVID-19, unfortunately, could be just a warm-up act, that, that there are far worse pandemics uh, that could be upon us. So now's our time to be building capacity to fight it, uh, uh, ramping up our ability to make vaccines, um, uh, enabling the virologists to do the surveillance. But unfortunately, what you're starting to see now is this revisionist history that wants to blame the virologist for creating the pandemic. So instead of containing the viruses, we're containing the virologist, and that's going to have tragic uh, consequences. And we've got to figure out a way to overcome the anti-vaccine sentiments. I mean, look, look at what's happened now with these new boosters. So last year, there was a bivalent booster that came out. Fewer than 20% of Americans got that. Now, with this new annual immunization um, for the XBB variants that are currently circulating, that became available in September. I mean, I got it, and about six other Americans got it, but you know, that's what we're looking at, really low numbers, so that when the next pandemic comes, and what I'm worried about, it's gonna be something like that. People are gonna be holding back, and, and that will also um, come back to bite us. Dr. Peter Hotez, thank you so much for the work you do. Thanks, Brent, for giving this attention. I appreciate it. Dr. Hotez's visit to Arizona, including a presentation at ASU, was sponsored by the Integrity Project. The Arizona-based nonpartisan group combats the use of misinformation in the public square.